Good afternoon. Thank you very much for being here today. Welcome to, to all and again to our guest, Prime Minister Davutoglu. Before getting into the substance, let me just say that we have two new colleagues amongst us today. Prime Minister of Poland, Bata Szydło, and Prime Minister of Portugal, Antonio Costa. Serdecznie witamy. Seja mój to bemwindo. Prime Minister, colleagues, this is an important moment for the EU and I am sure also for Turkey. If the ambitious agreement that we are about to adopt is fully implemented, the 29th of November 2015 will be a crucial date in EU-Turkish relations. Handling the migration crisis was the immediate reason for our meeting today. Approximately 1.5 million people have illegally entered, entered the EU in 2015. Most have come through Turkey. Some seek shelter from war and persecution. Others seek a better life, and a few seek to destroy our values. But this is not about the EU outsourcing its security and migration policy to Turkey. Nor is it about adding a burden on Turkey, a country that has demonstrated its solidarity to more than two million refugees and, and is itself experiencing the strains from dealing with this situation. But it is about addressing these challenges together. We, the European Union, will strengthen our support to refugees in Turkey and the region, stem irregular uh, migration, work on returns, increase our support to visa liberalization, and crack down together on the criminal smugglers networks. Beyond that, we commit to play our part in intensifying our bilateral relationship. In return, we expect to see an immediate and substantial reduction of irregular migrants arriving to Europe. And we expect Turkey, under the new government, to assist us in realizing the common objective of coming closer together through reforms, the upholding of the highest standards of human rights and media freedom, and the implementation of agreed roadmaps and benchmarks. In the end, this meeting is not only about handling the migration crisis. Out of crisis come opportunities. And the opportunity we are embracing today is to get our relationship to a new and higher level that matches our common interests, an opportunity to re-energize our bilateral relations to the benefit of both Turkey and the European Union. We will agree to meet regularly to intensify our dialogues at all levels. We agree to be more ambitious when it comes to the accession process and to work together to achieve the goal of visa-free travel while strengthening cooperation on counter-terrorism, counter trade, energy, and economic relations. Finally, migration is not the only topic we need to address. Recent developments have underlined that the issue of taking coordinated actions in Syria remains a priority. The tragic attacks in Paris demonstrated that our fight against terrorism has to enter a new phase. This will be a common task for the EU and Turkey. Without a quick and lasting solution to the crisis in Syria, people will still be fleeing the war. Here, let me stress the need to give our full support to the Vienna process. Prime Minister, once again, welcome. We have important work ahead of us. Ahmed, the floor is you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, honorable members of the EU Council, Excellencies, esteemed colleagues. First, I would like to thank you all for taking this initiative and participating in this summit today. We are going through a historic process, 
and today is a historic day in our relations. I like the phrase which is in our text today, to re-energize accession process. It means this meeting will create a new energy for all of us. And whenever I come to this building, I always remember Justus Lipsius, a Stoic philosopher, and how he responded to the issues when he lived in a very critical historic transform era of transformation. In this building now, what we, are t uh, what we are talking and what we will be talking is how to respond to globalization or, and the challenges of global economic uh, crisis as well as geopolitical earthquakes around us, how to respond from an ontological perspective, not only as the object of the history, but as the subjects of the history, as the leaders of Europe, our continent, our common home, it is right time to discuss, to share our views on Turkish-EU relations, and it is right time to have a common stand and solidarity against the challenges which we are facing together, like what happened in Ankara and in Paris recently in the last one month, one, one and a half month, showed us that the challenges in front of us are common. And it shows as well that if there is no solidarity between us, there cannot be any solution to any, any crisis. And I am sure this meeting today will be followed not only by our nations, but also by the neighborhood of Europe, which is being shaken by geopolitical tensions, sectarianism, radicalism, which wants to see a hope for the future for themselves, as well as by global community. Because this meeting will be a hope for all of us. I remember in 2004, when we declared the accession process of Turkey here in this building, the celebration was done in Syria, in Israel, in Palestine at the same time. All of them were happy that one day Turkey would be a member of EU because they knew very well that being neighbor to EU, being neighbor to Turkey as a member of EU is an asset for them. There was a hope created by the uh, leadership of EU and Turkey at that time. And today, what we need is a good news for all the nations in our common continent, as well as a good news to the world. In these days, we are getting always very negative news from everywhere. This meeting itself is not just to discuss the issue of migration, which is very important for all of us from humanitarian and strategic perspective, but also how to re-energize this great ideal of uniting EU with Turkish potential to respond to economic crisis as well as geopolitical uh, problems around us. I am happy to be here with you today and grateful to you, Mr. President, to uh, Mr. Juncker, to Commission, to all of our teams who work very hard to make this meeting possible. And I am especially grateful to all of you, and especially I want to say to President Holland, despite of several difficult days and despite of the uh, summit tomorrow in Paris, he is with us today. And thank you very much, Mr. President. It shows how all of you, as the family, see Turkey as a member of the family, and how to see the future of Turkey. I am grateful to all of you. And I congratulate the new colleagues as well, starting the new mission, like me, as I, wa I have been prime minister for less than more than a year, but uh, after the electoral victory, which is, I want to say, proudly I'm saying, we had 85% turnover and 97.5% representation in the parliament. And I am here in front of you as someone who got 49.5%, which is a quite a record. Uh, and uh, yesterday I was in the parliament, uh, which is really, I am again very proud, despite of all the uh, events around us, almost six, seven countries are collapsing. In Turkey, there is a very dynamic democracy, very representative parliament, and very efficient government which will be running the country for the next four years. Yesterday, I submitted my government program to the parliament. Today, I am here in Brussels. Tomorrow, I will be getting a lot of confidence from the parliament. I don't have any doubt. And here, 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> in democracy, there is always, uh, I mean, you, can, you cannot know, but uh, according to our rule, you have to wait 24 hours before a vote of confidence. And here I am here for mutual confidence between Turkey and EU. Based on this mutual confidence, tomorrow I will declare in my speech of thanks to the parliament and to the Turkish nation because of vote of confidence, I will convey your greetings and your strong political will in Turkish EU uh, accession process. This is very timely. We didn't plan it, but sometimes God decides in right timing, sequence. And uh, yesterday I declared in the parliament that our government will be a government of reform. And next week I will declare three months program, six months program, one year program for several reform packages, more democratic rights, new uh, economic policies uh, for, to uh, revive our economic dynamism, uh, a new judicial reform strategy, which will be changing the character of judicial system in a more uh, efficient as well as independent manner. And also, uh, I will be declaring the timetable for big infrastructure projects, including the biggest airport uh, in Istanbul, which has already started, and uh, the biggest airport in the world for 100 50 million passengers per year. Uh, this is just one indication of how Turkish economy is continuing to revive for the future. And I am happy after uh, agreeing on this text uh, to re-energize our uh, policy, our accession process, as well as to have high-level economic dialogue, high-level energy dialogue, high-level political dialogue, and having this format of meeting twice a year. This is a new beginning in Turkish-EU relations, and I am grateful to all of our colleagues, and especially also Madame Merkel. We had two or three telephone calls in last week, and uh, to reach the conclusions, all, uh, all, all of the leaders, uh, this is a new chance. Also, this is very timely uh, because of the developments on Turkish border with Syria, which will affect migration issue and other security concerns of all of us. Uh, so from all these perspectives, it will be a great opportunity uh, for uh, us to meet here. Of course, I will be sharing the details of uh, our program as well as our approach. But I want to say one thing, one message from Ankara, clear message. We are a European nation. The destiny of our continent belongs to us, to all of you. And for the future of European uh, continent, Turkey is ready to do everything possible, not just to respond to refugee crisis, but also to respond to all the crises or issues regarding the future of our continent. We want to be a member of our of European family. And as a family member, we, I can assure you that Turkey will be always a positively contributing family member to this uh, family. As a success in Europe, uh, the only success story in that sense after Second World War as a big, important project, a visionary approach. I want to conclude just not this just introductory remark to conclude. Afterwards, we will be talking more. On the way, when I was uh, making some uh, references to the previous statements of big European leaders, I have seen Robert Schumann's uh, very important uh, statement, a part of his statement. Europe will not be made all at once or according to a single plan. It will be built through concrete achievements which first create a de facto solidarity. Today, we have, we have a de facto solidarity against terrorism, against uh, migra illegal migration, against all type of threats like racism, uh, anti-Semitism, xenophobia, Islamophobia, etc. But this de facto solidarity, I am sure, will create a new vision which will make Turkey a member of uh, EU, 
and which will create a, a new era in the EU uh, process. Uh, what, as Schumann said, this is not a single plan. Europe is being formed and will continue to be formed in the future, and Turkey, as a member of this family, will continue to be one of the efficient, positive, contributing uh, subject of this process. Thank you very much, uh, Donald. Thank you. As President of the Council, again, I want to express our grateful and also President of the Commission to Mr. Juncker and all the team uh, for being this meeting possible. And thanks for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much.